Hey viewers, today we are answering the questions why does February have 28 days, why does a leap day get added in February, and why does the year start in January? Before 715 BC, the calendar of Romulus was used. This calendar had 10 months of 30 or 31 days, making for a total of 304 days. Obviously, this meant that it didn't account for all days of the year, and yes, they did realize that at the time. The other 61 days just didn't need a month. Back then, the calendar was used as a timetable for knowing when to plant and harvest the crops on the field. Since these 61 days were winter, and thus basically useless to the people that used the calendar, they just didn't bother naming them. Please note that in this calendar, months 5 through 10 were actually numbered instead of being named after, for example, gods. Around 715 BC, King Numa Pompilius added two months to the end of the year, making the calendar have 12 months. This made the total days in the calendar 355, the number he thought would make the year complete. As you can see, the days in February were just used to get to the correct amount. It didn't stay that way, however. The Romans believed that even numbers were unlucky, so King Numa adjusted the calendar to make all the months have an odd number of days. However, since we have an even number of months and an odd number of days to fill, one of the months has to be even. It seemed logical that February, being the last on the list, got to be the even month. So why make it 28 days and not 30? It seems more logical to remove two days from a 31 day month and make it 30. Unfortunately, nobody really knows why this decision was made, but there are two theories. Theory 1 says, since even months are unlucky, they made the month shorter. Theory 2 says the Romans didn't really care about that silly last month on the calendar. This last theory seems to be the most reasonable if we look at how the Romans dealt with the remaining 8 days of the year. Every so often, this was decided by the priests, February would be only 24 days and a leap month called Mercedonius would be inserted to make the months line up with the seasons again. All in all, this was, of course, ridiculous. By the time Julius Caesar came around, nobody had any clue what day it was. So Caesar reformed the calendar again, removing the leap month, aligning the calendar with the sun instead of the moon, and adding a few days to get the total calendar days up to 365. Up to that point, the new year was aligned with the date when consuls entered office, which changed regularly. The new year didn't mean anything to the regular people, and was really only important for the politicians. Caesar decided, however, that the new year would start at January 1st from that point onwards, and that this would be both for politicians and for the civilians. The Gregorian calendar, which is the calendar most of us use nowadays, was a refinement in 1582 to the Julian calendar, amounting to a 0.002% correction in the length of the year, introducing leap days. This day was added in February because it was the shortest month of the year. I hope you learned something today and I'll see you next time.